This is the solar farm, as you can tell. Tell by the solar panels. Dead giveaway, you're on a solar farm, yeah? So the job on these DC cables is the inverter has been changed. So it's been changed from one type of inverter, which is obviously where those lugs were then, to the new inverter, which is where those lugs were now. So what we're doing is making pigtails. You'll see some of the pigtails over there. And we're simply putting them in, bending them to suit. And then we're gonna, you'll see there that we've cut them and, and through crimped them to get a pigtail back up to where we wanna be. Some of them have been extended somewhere else, but most of them are just that length because that's where the old buzz bars were. But obviously they need to be long now, so we're just extending them up one at a time. So it's just a case of get a bit of pigtail that we've made. We've worked out there's 600 to one. Uh, bend it in, cut them together and put them back. Ta -da! It's actually not that cold. It's actually not rain either. But it's fucking looks like it might. We'll take some precautions. It is fucking windy and raining here. We are doing what we can under this fucking thing, but it is the worst day I've had so far. The rain's just stopped, but it keeps going down in sheets. This isn't the solar farm. No, it's not because it was the the uh, at some point today, it started to get really gusty and rainy. And I was thinking, we ought to probably wrap up because the tent's going to get fucked. Anyway, just after I thought that, the tent decided to evacuate itself, pop in smoke like a fucking fighter pilot and just fly off and destroy itself. Those silver tools got absolutely fucking drenched, so I brought them all back here to clean them and dry them. And we've come back because we was literally in the middle of a storm and things were flying around that take his heads off. So yeah, so we're back here at the digs. And I've just spent an hour well, just under an hour, drying with tools off. So yeah, that's solar farming for the day. Hopefully it'll be back tomorrow. And then I've got all the stuff in the dryer as well. Happy days. Bored now, very bored. Can't go to Weymouth because about the arcades are short. <laughs> On the plus side though, after yesterday's day's rain, it's absolutely fucking gleaming. So that's good, I'm not getting fucking soaking wet, but that could all change in about an hour. You never fucking know. But yeah, it's a nice day for it at least. <laughs>
Dan's crimping. Dan's crimp master now, aren't you? Yeah. Been doing, it for, been doing it for a day now. He knows everything I know. <laughs> We're over here. Right. Cut out the fucking damaged ones. Labelled them all up. Later on, put that end. And then the ones in the middle that need repairing, I'm going to try and repair them now. Hopefully some heat shrink. They've only gone through the outer core. The armings aren't damaged, but we are getting somewhere. I'm trying to pump the water right now. I'm a shitty little amp pump. I've made those off, but I've made them off to pigtails because if I make them off there, the joints will be on the pit and the gore will fall out. So I've made them off level. And then when I make those ones off down there, I'll be able to have them level as well. So I'll let them set for three or four hours. Then I can work them without damaging them. And I can do both my joints on the straight, which is better. But if you ain't got that option, then you'd have to be a cunt, wouldn't you? But that's working all right for me. Trench is done, joints done in there, so they can back for that once they dry tomorrow. So that's that job done, they won't be seeing any more of that. For some fucking work Phil I'd like to see you get your uh, Milwaukee fucking toy crimpers in there lads go on then Mate, there'll be no audio on it. Oh my god, it's fucking filled out! 